So finally, it's time to start continuing the game. So first off, let's play in this two card over here, which is a mingling world. This doesn't really matter, of course. And the other one is uh, let's do half stagnant space or whatever it's called. And key card. Oopsies, press the wrong one. Sorry about that. My controls are like right where the Windows key is. So when I press down on the wrong key, just one spot, then I'll be opening up the Windows button. So sorry about that. Anyway, so hey, it's Happy Riku. I don't think he's really that happy. Okay, this must be a memory of the past, like in Green Marks 1, where you see him, back then. Oh my god, this is the unevil one! Sora will stay here forever! He must be the good Riku. Not saying that the new Riku is a bad Riku, but eh, whatever. Well, I can't see exactly if I'm talking too loud. Uh, okay, anyway. I got speaking too quietly, but I don't know. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Come with me to the darkness. Quick, warn Titus, actually. Warn Sophie, actually. Lord Waka? Yeah, I guess Waka's okay to save. I'm a monologue king character, and Sophie... Sophie's pretty annoying. I guess you could save her, though, because she's cute. In a way. Charge! And thus, the key of guidance is given, so... Oh god, this isn't good. We're gonna save state. Dang it. Ha! In your face, stupid frickin' heartless. I don't know why it started me in this room now. It's kinda annoying there. Oh well. Whoa, I just wanted to open the barrel. That was cool. So I already opened all the rooms with Moogles and stuff because I wanted some key card, some cards. By getting free cards. So yeah. And I found out that there's a trick to getting all the cards, but I only did it a few times, and that's that if you save state outside of a room, you can actually cheat the game by making it think that you haven't gotten the room yet, and when you open the room, it creates a room of different uh, Moogle rooms, so you'll get different free cards. I only did it a few times, and I got, let's see, what did I get? I only, like, did it a few times, so some of them aren't that good. But, like, for instance, this one says 9, this one says 9, and yeah. So, anyway. Actually, no, this would be a time to actually equip a nice deck for me. So, I'm trying to learn about cards, really, because these cards are very confusing. So, let's start with uh, going to the journal and looking at the card index. Each card has its own little strike, thrust, and combo finish. Now, the strike and combo finish is what you mostly want to look at. Okay, so, strike is the first attack, thrust is the second attack, and finally is the combo finish, which is the last attack. And then, it gets really confusing because it goes strike, thrust, strike, combo finish when you have something like a soldier equipped, which lets you have one more combo card. So I can talk about this because now I have a whole bunch of them to go through. Except for this one. This one's something you'll never see. Actually there's a few. Like Diamond Dust? I don't even know why I can't find that. But um, pretty much what I first want to do is look for the one that has the best strike. So it looks like Flying Art is like the best key except for the swing attack. But it doesn't really matter about swing speed because they're all as slow as brick. So anyway, and that has a really nice combo finish, but I don't have any good cards on that. That has a good thrust, so I'll have those in second. 
Now it's a good idea to either write this down or something in order to remember which one has which, so that when you actually make your final deck for the final boss, you will have a pretty good deck to find with. I'll do that later though, I just want to go through it with you guys. Right now, I'm just gonna do it by how I usually do it, which is, uh, highest to lowest. So let's do that. I don't really care how it goes, so let's just get all the nines in there first. Okay, I was like, I think I add too many. Now when you have a lot of CP like I do, it doesn't really matter what you put in there. Okay, I was just looking where I put that line heart. Uh, ah, here's one. Here's a few. And that's it, okay. Let's switch over to the attack card so I know what I'm doing. Okay, next is eight. Is I edge my? Ah, it always sounds like I am. And then we go into this one. When I get down to the six cards, I'll probably play in the strongest, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think I have that much CP on me. So I'll probably just add the strongest cards I can possibly get. And let's not play in all those seven. Because the Kingdom Key is weak, so try to avoid using those from now on after you get to around this point of the game. I only play in the high cards, like 8 and 9, but 7 is pretty much off limits, because as you can see, I have like 10 of them. And that's pretty stupid, so yeah. Eh, that should do it. So far, that's 37 cards. So let's just add 3 more. Just have an even number there. Well, a 10 multiple right there. It just... It's just how I think. And then let's go into playing in the cloud. So, a card, and... Okay. Five. Ah! Let's stop pressing B. Five. And... Okay. So, this time I want healing, of course. I mean, why wouldn't you want healing? I mean, really, that would be kind of stupid. Now, the person we're going against will pretty much need something that can attack pretty easily against them, so I'm gonna go with the arrow because it's an easy attack to use. And you can always usually get a hit on them with it. So, next is a Mega Elixir, of course, not that one. And I'm over limit, but I'll figure that out later, so anyway. So the newest card we've gotten so far is Hook. Oh, that can't be right. I could have sworn I got. In... Oh right, I fought Rico at the end of the Twilight Town. So retain one HP after a critical hit. That don't need that. Half the damage of enemies' magical attacks. You definitely don't need that for this one. Oh Reagan, Ooh, that that looks pretty good. Now that is a pretty nice card. Of course, I don't really think I need any of these. I'm... Maybe this one. This one would be pretty good against them, so let's do that. So let's just remove the top cards from my sevens and see what I, how much I have to take out. Ooh, I'm so close. Ah, oh, man. I'm like really close, too. There. So that'll do it, so... Eh, yeah, we have time. Hopefully. I I think we do. Cause we're we do. So, let's just... Playing all these cards in front. Okay. Here we go. Let me just save stay here, just in case. Okay, 50, holy crap. Um... Just so I use this one. Uh, keep one of those. And keep all of your nine cards. They're really hard to find sometimes. Same with battling. 
If you're up to the last strike of an enemy, if you save state and then attack him, it'll, and then load state every single time, you can actually choose what card you get at the end of a battle. So it doesn't really matter for me. So, of course that's good for grinding for cards and stuff, so yeah, I really care right now. I'm trying to find some cards I can play in there that I won't really miss. Yeah, let's find that last one. Okay. So, here we go. So this is Darkseid, as you remember him from uh, Kingdom Hearts and such and fun. Okay. From Kingdom Hearts uh, 1? Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 1. I couldn't think. Um, anyway. There we go, I got him. Sorry. <laughs> I can't touch him. Ha! Got him. Okay. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Now as you can see, compared to Kingdom Hearts 1, he's a lot smaller, and... We can do this again. Now let's heal, of course, because this is a pretty hard fight, actually, so... Now, I would be using my, uh, little card over here. Actually, you might, I might as well. So, let me think. I just remember what fight I had to press here. Aha! Uh -huh. So physical attacks in front of me are now pretty much nullified until he hits me. Which could be whenever. Ha! There we go. Let's wait for him to attack. Come on, bring it. Bring it! Let's just heal, actually. Okay. Come on. Why did I press the wrong button? I don't think that was a good attack to go against. Ha! Here we go. Let's reload that. So of course you actually have to be patient and let him attack. So I forgot about that part of this battle, which is really tedious, really. Which is why I hate this battle so much. Because when he does this, it's a lot easier to hit him. And he is an easy battle if you think about it, but... You know, it's pretty hard still. Only when he does the fist thing is pretty much when you can hit. So you can break everything else. Unless it's the fist thing, just keep playing. See? Every time he punches down, you can hit him. So, yeah. Whoa, don't want that. And attack! So simple. Plus he summons all these weak monsters like, uh, shadows and stuff.
It's more of a tedious style than anything else. Okay, that's getting really annoying. Come on. Dang it, missed. It's supposed when it does that. No, I want to hit you. God dang. Okay. No. Jeez. I have to spend most of the time healing. Good thing you know this card actually can break that. To me, is a limb getting stronger. Oh, yeah. Come on, what's that? What's that? Uh, my head hurts so much right now. I think this one you can actually hit his hand at this match. This one you have to his face now, so. What's that? Just a little more! Oh god, okay. Lionheart might actually kill him. Yes! I knew it! Lionheart killed him! Go Lionheart! Oh yeah! Dodge roll! Okay. Stop moving around you stupid thingies. Anyway. CP. Yay! Oh hey, and Nominee comes in, it's like, you're not Nominee, Nominee has red hair. Um, by the way, I messed with your memories, ha 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 ha. Anyway, well no, I'm not gonna go into that until Kingdom Hearts 2, so anyway.
I stole your heart. Okay, doesn't every lover? Eh? Oh my god, there's two nominees! I can never hear them! What are you talking about? Uh, what is that? Don't believe me, I mean, don't believe in her, I mean, don't believe in whatever. Who the heck is that? I can't remember. Because it's obvious the sad one is Naminé because that's how she was acting when Axel came in and released her. So yeah, I have no idea. Wasn't that a nice cinematic? Uh, we haven't seen one since the beginning of the game, so nice. And it's obvious. Hey, it's Kyrie. Who knew? Okay, like <laughs> she feels so familiar. Now, as the gamer, everyone would probably be going, "No dip." So yeah. You get the old keeper. Yay! So that's pretty much it for this LP of Final Fantasy Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. So see you all next time when we conquer Castle Oblivion, if I remember correctly. So yeah, see you next time. I'll just save right now. Yay, two levels. Anyway, see you all next time.